He's one of the richest men in the world, and many say that his ambition knows no bounds. He managed to transform Dubai from a desert into one of the wealthiest cities in the entire world. But despite having a $14 billion net worth, he still drives his own car and has no bodyguards following him. He's as humble as ever. And here is Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Life and Biography. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Short Bio Sheikh Mohammed is the most ambitious and most visionary person in the entire city. After having received education in some of the best schools in the world, Muhammad readily assumed the position of Sheikh after his brother Sheikh Maktoum passed away on January 4, 2006. But he has been in power for around a decade before assuming power in Dubai. He was kind, he was a workaholic, and he was ambitious enough to change the city into the world's most advanced city. But to prepare for his role, here's what he had to do. Right after finishing his military training and formal education, his father appointed him as the head of the Dubai police force, a role he carried out with a great virility and responsibility. And a few years later, after the agreement for the formation of the United Arab Emirates had been made, Mohammed was appointed Minister of Defense in 1971. He held this position until becoming Sheikh in 2006. But about a decade earlier, his brother smashed that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, he actually signed two documents that stated Mohammed would be the crown prince of Dubai. He didn't leave his post until his brother's passing, and he fought corruption in his country the best he could. He never ordered the arrest of the head of Dubai Customs, as well as the chairman of World Customs Association. And this was just the beginning. In the following months, a total of 14 government officials have been arrested by the Ministry of Defense. This shocked everyone in the city, and it sent a strong message. Dubai has zero tolerance for corruption. But a man of his stature wouldn't settle for only ruling a country. He is known throughout the world for being a very successful businessman, with a $14 billion net worth. He has two major companies to his name. The first one is Dubai World, which is an international investment company, and the second one is Dubai Holding, a global holding company. With 50,000 employees and offices in over 100 cities around the globe, he has more than enough money to support his ventures. Childhood and Family And here's how the life of one of the richest men in Dubai started. He was born way back in 1949 on July 15th. His father was the previous emir and the prime minister of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Rashid bin Saeed Al Maktoum. But since he wasn't the eldest child, Sheikh Mohammed climbed to the throne after his brother's death on the 4th of January 2006. Aside from Sheikh Maktoum, Sheikh Mohammed has two other brothers and two more sisters. This made for a total of six children in the family, but there is almost no information about his sisters, which led some to criticize their father for his patriarchal family. The current Sheikh has been openly receiving heat about his polyamorous marriage, but more on that later. First, let's talk about Sheikh Mohammed's childhood. As we said earlier, this man was born into opulence. His father was one of the most powerful men in the world, and his mother was the daughter of another powerful man in the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Hamdan, the former ruler of Abu Dhabi. This meant that Sheikh Mohammed had everything his little heart desired, as well as servants tending to his every need. And if you thought the Sheikh was a king that only sat in his palace and didn't care about his people, in fact, it was quite the contrary. When Sheikh Mohammed was just a little boy, his father would sit on a stone bench outside his palace. He was surrounded by all of his advisors, and whenever the people had a problem, they could just walk right up to the palace, enter the open gates, and talk to the Sheikh in person. That speaks volumes about how the current Sheikh was raised. And as soon as he came of age, his father got him in the best schools possible. But first, he had to be taught in Islamic studies. His father organized a private tutor that came to their home every day and taught little Muhammad. This went on for two years, until 1955. He then started the institutional education where he attended Al-Amdina School. When he turned 10 years old, he changed schools and he began attending Al-Shab School. But after just two years, he started going to Dubai Secondary School. After secondary school, it was time to go abroad and test the international waters and start to understand foreign cultures. Together with his cousin Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Maktoum, they went to the Bell Educational Trust's English Language School, which was located in the UK. There, he made his family proud, as he was passing out with a sword of honor. This meant that Mohammed was the top Commonwealth student of his generation, 
and after the finished education, he was later sent to Italy, where he had to train as a pilot. You heard that right, the Sheik of Dubai can even fly an airplane. After he received the best education that money could buy, it was time he moved into the world of politics and business. But since we talked about his career just a few minutes ago, it would seem redundant to do so again. So instead, here's this. Houses and Mansions The Sheik lives in one of the most prestigious mansions in the entire city of Dubai. And when something is the most exclusive in a city like this, then the place sure has to be jaw-dropping. And it sure is. The Zabil Palace is located just four miles from Dubai Frame and is the official residence of Sheikh Mohammed. And even though it's one of the city's landmarks, visitors are not allowed inside. You can visit the park in front of the gates, but that's as far as you can go. Any further and you're considered trespassing. And don't think there's nothing to see in the park. From green surfaces to pal trees and exotic animals, you have it all. You even have the Sheikh's car on display at the park, but you can't really touch it. Success Story and Awards His entire life is a success story. From completely terraforming Dubai to building an artificial island in the form of a palm tree, there's nothing this man can't do. He signed the papers to build the Burj Al Arab, the islands in the form of a map of the world. He has also launched Emirates Airlines, the most prestigious airlines in the world. Then comes the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Internet City, and T-E-O-C-O-M, the list goes on and on with no sign of stopping. Cars and Bikes Now we know that he's rich and we know that his sons and daughters are living a life of riches and opulence. But the Sheik himself, he drives only one car everywhere he goes. It's the Mercedes-Benz G-Class. And he doesn't even have a driver for the car like other heads of state. Everywhere he goes, he goes alone. So, yeah. Interests and Hobbies from what we've managed to find online, we've concluded that the crowned prince of Dubai is actually an avid equestrian, and his love for horses is unmatched. He is one of the top horse breeders in the world, and his most prized stallions are worth somewhere around $50 million. One other hobby we've managed to find him enjoying is falconry, although we're assuming this was thanks to one of his sons. And in one interview, Sheikh Mohammed admitted that he loved all animals, regardless of the species. Oh, and one quick fact before we go. You should know that he has 30 children in total, from his six different wives, something the media has been looking down on. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, which celebrity's lifestyle would you like to see a video for in the future? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.